I clown in him. What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. <laughs> I wasn't sure what the guy was saying originally, but the guy's clowning. Shakur for having high heel shoes on. <laughs> He's got high heel shoes on. Stop it! I've heard it all now. That's mad. It's bad, you know, when you when you got the media clowning on you. Anyway, so I haven't watched the fight. Cambos has fought some dude called Maxi Hughes, I think from the UK. Apparently, it was a robbery. Listen, I ain't watching random boxing fights. That's just me, though. Either way, Shakur decided to take it upon himself to pull up on Cambosis. I mean, Cambosis allegedly won the IBO belt. The IBO belt is now considered to be kind of like the fifth belt. But listen, the last thing boxing needs is any more belts. I actually think boxing needs less belts. A lot less belts. Like one belt. Maybe two. Why two? Two makes it interesting because you can't have a champion versus a champion. Even the UFC, who has a great model in my opinion, they've kind of started doing that more, i.e. interim champion versus the real champion, which is essentially two belts. It, it adds to the drama, yeah? Definitely not five, though. My point, why is Shakur going to Cambosis for? Cambosis is a whole snack, yeah? That's what Cambosis is. Now, Cambosis said, oh, you saw what I did to Tio. Listen, Cambosis, yeah, you beat Tio, but... We now know you beat Tio on his worst night. Not your fault, but it was on his worst night. And on his worst night, you didn't beat him. It was a close fight. Yeah? Fair play to you for doing what you did, but come on. Yeah. Listen, even Shakur on his worst night, he ain't going to go out like Tio did, in my opinion. Shakur's too reserved. What got Tio in trouble was he was too eager. Shakur's never been eager in his life. He will sit back and box your head off. Yeah? I actually think... Chakor's a bit boring in that sense. I think he needs to be more... For example, when he fought that guy Valdez, I think he could have stopped Valdez. But he doesn't have that drive in him. He doesn't have that Terence Crawford in him, in my opinion. He doesn't really have the dog in him. He has that... I'll just... Not as bad as Devin Haney, but similar kind of traits. Happy to sit back and box. That said, though, the only thing that got Cambosis into the T.O. fight was aggression. And Shakur don't have none of that. Plus his southpaw. Plus... Shakur's rangy, although apparently has our heels on. You can see here that Shakur's noticeably taller, but I don't know how big his stilts are. Regardless, it doesn't matter how big or not he is. Cambos has got no shot. So I think to myself, what is... I mean, Shakur... At this point in time, the Devin Haney fight for Shakur is still on the table. It's been ordered. The difficulty is... I've got a video coming later this week. Is that Devin Haney is now the favourite to move up to 140 and fight Pro Gray and Tio, which are still great fights. Which leaves Shakur a bit down the road. Like, what do I do next? Not well, actually, no, not really, because I believe in the next week or two, Devin Haney will have to either fight Shakur or relinquish his belts, one or two of his belts, of which Shakur is the mandatory. How does Cambosis play into this? Potentially, it's looking like. I haven't, I haven't seen the rankings. But it's like, is Shakur here to set up a Shakur versus Cambosis for a belt? For a real belt? That would be whack, truth be known. Yeah. Who else is there at 135? I'm trying to think now. Who is there at 135? Loma. Yeah, Loma. That's who's there. Although, to be fair to Shakur, Shakur did start trying to beg friend Loma and said to him, listen, if you can't get the Devin Haney fight, I'll fight you. And Loma Chenko said, oh, I'm focused on Devin Haney right now. So I'm not sure. But listen. Listen. Loma Chenko ain't in the mix at all for Devin Haney. That's what we know for a fact. So what might happen, hopefully, is that Loma gets the message that, yeah, the Devin Haney fight ain't never going to happen. 
and hence when the belts become available, Loma must be high up the rankings. Meaning that Shakur versus Loma for at least one or two of the belts, or at least one of the belts, makes sense. Either way, I don't know what he's doing hanging around Cambosis for. Yeah, I mean, before this, Shakur came out and said, oh, the fans are critiquing me for saying I want, for trying to book the George Jorge Linares fight. Like, Linares? Okay, no. People have clowned Devin Haney for beating Linares three years ago, two years ago. That's whack. Cambosis is whack for Shakur. I don't want to hear about that. It's not even a stay busy fight. It's just not. Yeah? Shakur needed Loma. Loma, Tank ain't going to fight Shakur. I forget about that, but that's a shame, but he ain't going to fight Shakur. Um, who else is 135? I don't even know. It's quite. It's sad, really, Devin Haney. I wish Devin Haney was, wasn't was so big, because it's a shame he's moving up, really. Although, there's listen, to be fair to Haney, Pro Gray and Tio are top, top, top fights. I actually think, you know, on hindsight, Haney versus Pro Gray and Tio... Is more competitive than Haney and Shakur. I think Shakur does tear that ass up. For what? Not he ain't going to stop that Devin Haney, but yeah, that Haney we know for a fact can't fight Southpaws. He can't do it, people. He was struggling against that other guy, Jojo, with Jojo, someone like that. He couldn't land no jabs. Now going up in weight, he's going to fill out, and maybe that will get him. Progress is quite small anyway, so maybe he's going to do some there. But listen, Lomachenko was small. Yeah, Haney was all in the video pushing Lomachenko. So, I mean, whatever Haney does is a great... Whatever Haney decides to do, stay at 135 or move up, his greatness is confirmed, in my opinion. If he decides to fight Shakur or Progre or Tio, they're all A-star fights, top-risk fights. Shakur, on the other hand, no... To Linares, no to Cambosis. These are whack fights. You're supposed to be stepping up. Cambosis is a step well far down. He, Cambosis and even Valdez. Yeah, let's be serious here. I don't even know what you're doing at that fight. Truth be known. Anyway, people. Hopefully something good happens here. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and leg off the bell. I've got 30 seconds left. Let me keep waffling on some more. Get these coins in 100%. Um, what did the guy say? The guy said about his shoes. And they also said so. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that was it. I've already talked about that TO thing, man. Listen, it's one of them ones. Sorry, people. You know, I've dragged your life out, but I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>